Are you sick and tired of spending countless hours of breathing and having your characters come out with the wrong passive skills or just missing one particular passive skill that you really, really want on your character, but you cannot seem to get? The reason this is happening to you is because you are doing breathing completely, completely wrong. Today, I'm going to show you guys how you could guarantee to get the right passive skills on every single character. If you take a look at my character right here, I have a Masarina. Now, the great thing about this Masarina is that I have Workaholic, Die Lover, Artisan, and Positive Thinker. To me personally, this is the best stats to put on a working pal. Now, I want to be able to replicate this over and over, and I want to reduce the amount of resources that it takes me to do that, but most importantly, the amount of time. How can I genuinely guarantee that I could get all of these passive skills passed on to a pal the fastest, the easiest, and most effective way. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys exactly how I've been able to make all my characters with these amazing traits super easy and super fast. So with that being said, let's jump right into the video and find out what you need to do to guarantee the passive skills you want. Now, just to make sure I cover everybody that might be new to the game, in order to do this, guys, you are need to you're gonna need to have a farm. And in addition to that, you're gonna need to be able to have enough cake to be able to do this over and over. In order for you to guys make cake, you're gonna need flour, red berries, milk, eggs, and honey. I have a video showing you guys how to get unlimited amount of cake, so you guys are definitely gonna wanna make sure you watch that video. Once you have those elements to farm the cake, all you have to do is get the correct pals to make the character you want to make. Now, of course, depending on the palette you want to make, it's going to be a different formula. But for me personally, today, we're going to be making an Astagon. And we want to make sure that our Astagon has the same skills that our Masarina has so we can make a really good character. All right, so here's where you guys want to make sure you pay super duper close attention because this is going to make or break you getting the right skills. So for our personal video today, guys, we are making an Astagon and the characters we decided to use to kind of get our Astagon is a Grisple and a First Stallion Knot. Now, this is going to be the secret sauce that's going to allow you guys to make sure you take the least amount of effort doing this, the least amount of time and the least amount of resources. When you guys are combining characters, you're going to look for characters that you want to make sure you breathe or capture that have only one passive skill now for example our grist bolts we did a couple farming we did a couple breathing and we finally got our grist bolt with one passive skill which is workaholic which is one of the passive skills we want so we already knew we had a winner now we had to find a partner and in order for us to find a partner for this we went and found a partner with a frostallion knot now the great thing about this particular option is that i know a grist bolt and a frostallion knot will breathe me a astagon and this is great because i got two passive skills that i want on my astagon so what i'm going to do here is i am going to drop my gris bolt and then we're going to go ahead and pick up our gris bolt here and then we're going to take him to the breathing section right here and we're going to dump them in here all right so we're going to throw them in here remember this has one passive skill that i want and then we're going to go over and then dump our for stallion knot which is this guy okay and we're gonna put him in here and we're gonna grab him and we're gonna pick him up and we're gonna bring him to the area and we are gonna dump him in here now sometimes it takes a couple eggs but the majority of the time it almost always takes one try for this guy for the gris bolt and for for the shelly knot to pass the same passive skill to their characters and giving us an astagon that has workaholic and it has artisan so let's see how many eggs it takes for us to see how fast these two traits are passed on. All right. So after a couple tries, we finally got what we wanted, guys. Let's see how many we actually did. We did one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight until we finally got the one. So I'm going to say it took us like about 12, 12 eggs to be able to get the one we wanted. This is the one we want. We're going to put it all the way down here. What you're looking to get is you're looking to get a pal that has both of the perks you want on your character. So for example, we had Workaholic on the Grisble and we had Artisan on the Frostalliant and Artisan and Workaholic are both in there. So we got our first character. And this is where people get it completely wrong 
because now that they have this character, they start going and trying to put in other passive skills in here. And you do not want to do that. Your next objective should be getting another one like this with the other two perks that you want. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to try to get uh, the two other passive skills we want. So once again, we're creating an Astagon, but this time, since we have to get two other passive skills, we have to find a different combination to do that. So in order to do that, we're going to get a Hail Sephir. So we're going to put this in here, guys. We're going to drop them in here. We're just going to go ahead and pick them up. Ah, he went away without me picking him up. Come back. Stop flying. Stop flying, boy. Come on. Here we go. All right, let's get him in here. We're going to put him in here. And we're going to throw him in here. All right. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go get our first stallion knot, which is our male character, and we're going to drop him in here. And we're just going to go ahead and bring him in here, pick him up, and take him over there to the little farm so he could have some Astagom bye bites. Now, remember, the other one took us like about 12 eggs. Let's see how much this one actually takes us. So we're going to put them there. We're going to let them settle. We're going to let them mate and see how many eggs it takes all right so we got a couple eggs here we have actually more than a couple eggs we're gonna pick all these eggs up and we are gonna see how many eggs it actually takes for us to get the stat that we want so we are over encumbered here so we have a lot of eggs so let's make our way over here and we're gonna do one by one and see how many it takes hopefully we we get really lucky here so we got one two three four five we got it we got a bunch of eggs all right here we go Let's get started. Let's start off with the first one. We got an Astagon with not what we want. Remember, we just want two of them to drop. Okay, we don't want multiples. So here we go. We got more right here. And let's see. Nope, that's not the one we want. Let's go right here. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. All right, so that's number three. This Okay, so we got one with two, but not what we want. So we want positive, positive, but we... Want to get the diet lover right there, man. Come on. Diet lover and pop. Ah. Now we don't want three. All right. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Oh, my boy's hungry with their little chicken. Ba -ba okay. That's not the what we want. Couple more coming through. All right. Ah. Ha, ha, ha. For example, I was really happy there when I saw the diet lover. But not positive thinker, man. Come on now. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No, that, I mean, it's there, but it's got four. We don't want four, man. We want less than four. All right, so you see, we got a positive thinker. So that's good because we can literally save that one. Let's go. Positive thinker and diet lover. We got a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Let's go. All right, let's just make sure he's in here. So we're gonna go into the pal box and do we have, where is he at? Here it is. So positive thinker and diet lover. So now we have two characters that have what we need, right? So we have positive thinker, diet lover, which is what we want. Cause this is what our mozzarella has, which is workaholic, diet lover, artisan, and positive thinker. So we got positive thinker one, and then we have artisan workaholic. So we got what we wanted. Now it's just a matter of us massacring a bunch of Astagons and start breathing once again. All right, so I'm gonna say that was like a total of what, like eight eggs that it took us. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna bring these guys back out. And now what we need to do is we need to grab both of our Astagons, all right? So we wanna make sure that we got a male, we got a female, so we got perfect combination right here. Let's go ahead, cause that's one thing you need to look for. You wanna make sure they're male and female. So we're, we did good here. We're gonna grab this guy right here. We're gonna grab him. And we are going to take them over here. And what this is going to allow us to do, it's going to allow us to breathe both of these and create some Astagon babies. And we'll see how many eggs it actually takes to get all the passive skills we want. As you see, this is a more effective method than probably the way you've been doing it. Because this almost guarantees uh, a shorter time of spending doing this less resources and just pretty much guaranteeing that you're going to get the right passive skills so we're going to let them settle we're going to let them have a couple babies and then we're going to see how many eggs it takes to get the skills we want all right so we got a couple eggs cooking here for us so let's pick these up and see what how many tries it actually takes to get these two individual uh, skills passed on so remember we're going for workaholic we're going for diet lover. 
we're going for the um i forgot what the other one was but we're, once we get it we'll know all right so pa a positive thinker all right so here we go so we got one out of the way let's get two eggs out of the way artisan diet lover workaholic and positive thinker let's go two eggs that's all we needed boys and this is the fastest way and easiest way to get the passive skills you want guaranteed without a problem. And that is how you can ultimately guarantee that you will get the passive skills you want. Now, of course, you're going to need cake. So if you haven't checked out my ultimate guide on how to get cake, I highly recommend you definitely check that out so you guys know exactly how to get unlimited amount of cake so you can just go ahead and craft a couple babies as you possibly can. We went ahead and did like about, I would say it was like 24 eggs to get the final results. I think this is by far the fastest, easiest, and most effective method to guarantee the passive skills you want. I hope you found this video helpful, informative. If you did, do me a huge favor, guys. Drop a comment, drop a like. But most importantly, subscribe to the channel, turn those notifications on so you won't miss when our videos go live. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.